Revelation 17 is, is one of the most mysterious ones, and some say it could be entitled The Beauty and the Beast. I mean, listen to the first four verses of this chapter. It says, Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and talked with me, saying, Come, I'll show you the judgment of the great harlot with many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed fornication. The inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. Listen to this crazy story. And here's what's going on in Revelation chapter 17. John, John sees the one who is called the, the great whore of Babylon, dressed in purple and pearls and all adorned. Th this woman is also drunk, the Bible says, with the, with the blood of those who've been martyred, those who were, well, taken for their faith. And she, she's like obviously uh, destroying and manipulating the world. Now, what's really going on here, and I believe most scholars would say this, is that the woman represents Rome, who seduces the world with her power, with her charm, with her wealth, and drawing people in to this government, to this end of the world power. But the Bible describes her, and John sees her really as, as a prostitute. And this is what's happening in the end of time. Many believe this is the revived Roman Empire. So as you're reading through Revelation chapter 17, God begins to expose, God begins to reveal to us that in the end times there will be a revival of an empire like Rome or even Rome itself that will begin to seduce all the other nations into coming to her for wealth, for power, for protection. It's the beginning, I believe, and a picture of a one world government that begins to arise out of Rome. And this is what's happening in Revelation chapter 17. And God gives us a picture, an amazing picture, of the authority of man at the end of time.